Thanks for coming out to meet me. You wanted to talk? Yeah, I actually wanted to ask you a question, if that's all right. Ask away. Why are you being so nice to me? I mean, I was your mortal enemy at some point, and I was the one who, you know, with Agatha. Wasn't expecting you, of all people, to warm up to me. We all make mistakes, Wanda. And we all deserve a chance to make up for them. Well, I've made some pretty big ones. Some would say unforgivable, even. Not sure if you noticed, but everyone seems to be afraid of me around here. Everyone except for you, that is. Come on, Wanda. You are not that scary. Are you sure? Because you seemed pretty scared when I was your adversary. Me? No. It takes a lot to frighten me. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling about you. Anyway, I just wanted to say, thanks for not hating me. Or something along those lines. I'm glad you're here. You too, Wanda. Hydra's on the move. Meet me at the mirror table, ASAP. Who knows? Maybe if we keep doing whatever it is we're doing, we can get the Dread Maiden on our side, too. I shouldn't joke about the Dread Maiden. That thing still gives me the creeps. They say about prep. No pain, no gain. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me, too. See you around. has had the advantage for far too long. Way to snatch it back from her and Banner. I just hope this is what you were expecting, Hunter. What have you got for me, boss? I should be aware of. Or am I 
time could... Thank you, Hunter. This will do... Is a you find more coil, send it my way. We have a tough choice ahead, Hunter. I can use your input. New Blaze would come around eventually. Just like you wanted. If we had some... I'd say send them out for the experience, but I think we're past that. No problem. Got some ops ready. Now we're getting somewhere. Thanks, Hunter. This is definitely the coziest war room I've ever been in. Quiet, too. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost. Hunter, hello. Still intent on detonating these rift charges wherever they can. Be damned. They're not all that interested in anyone else. Just focus on destroying the charges. Hydra has enough warm bodies to overwhelm you eventually. Roger that.
try this. Whatever gets the job done. for the beating we're about to put on you. Proceed then.
damage. Impressive. Interesting tactic. done just yet. Their intentions haven't changed. Right? I think we've got company. Some sort of healing elixir will really hit the spot right now.
Elegant and powerful, Doctor. Another Hydra operation foiled. I'll never get tired of hearing that. We got Wanda back, straightened out Johnny Blaze, and are gonna totally vaporize the Parchment of Power. Sorry, hope I didn't hurt you. deal. I can't figure him out. Uh, don't get me wrong, I like him. But then he turns into a burning psycho when we're on mission. Have you spent any time with him outside of a mission? Not as much as you have. If you want to figure him out, just talk to him. You're not wrong. All right, I'll do it. What are you thinking? Challenging him to an arm wrestling contest? Maybe a video game before that? Yeah, good call. You bribing me to think better of you? It's working. Charlie. Lily. Are you heading to the meeting? Soon. And do not forget the ingredients.
midnight suns are starting to feel like a real positive force for good. Even though we've got several witches and demons on our team. Are you prepared for tonight's meeting? I am more than prepared. I am the Sorcerer Supreme. But yes, I am ready. Hi. About the emo kids meeting, there's a problem. Wanda asked to run the show, everyone was fine with it, until Caretaker showed up. Sarah taking control, how surprising. I don't blame her. Wanda's magic killed Agatha, it's hard to let that go. Why are we meeting? I thought we already knew how I died. Wanda doesn't think we do, and I believe her. So, you ready to head to the meeting and hear her out? Lead the way. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have brought it up. I disagree. Your theory is sound. We must know the truth. Wanda already took Agatha from me. I'll be damned if I let her take my child. The one standing behind you? Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't mean for you to hear that. Too late. Explain what this is about. Wanda says there is more to your death than what we saw. She claims she can reveal the true manner of your death. I cannot hurt to try her suggestion. It absolutely can. Her magic is chaotic. She could lose control and kill everyone. Good thing you were here to help her. Help her? After what she did? Who better than you? Hmm. All right. Listen to her if you must. But if you proceed with the ritual, I can't lose you, Hunter. Not again. I didn't mean for this to happen. I just wanted to help. How? I spoke with Doctor Strange about your visions. That got me thinking. The last meeting, specifically the moment of your death, I don't think that's where your life ended. The last time we did this, something felt off. Good, you felt it too. There is a subtle magic at play. It clouds your perception, distracts from what is real. Why are you so certain? I felt it twice before. Most recently, when I was under Lilith's influence. And the first time? <sighs> when I killed Agatha. I had no warning I'd lost control until it was over. Something masked the danger from me, from her. I can respect your honesty, if not your magic. That's more than I expected. My magic works by creating what I most desire. It can also strip what is illusion from what is real. You deserve to know what truly happened. Please, allow me to help you. I am ready to proceed. All right. What is your last memory before your death? Lilith trapped me with the Darkhold. I could not move. Then I shall remove the veil. And now, your death revealed. What do you see? 
Lilith approaches. I have never seen her so determined. And now, child, you shall be free. Still creepy. Indeed. I cannot move. Yet I hear myself shut. Enough! What the? My body lurches toward her. None of it my doing. Ah! Lilith struggles against her own limbs, but cannot control them. My hand reaches for the Darkhold. I see fear blossom in my mother's eyes. I touch the Darkhold. No! Stay Pain back! washes over us both. The world flares white. And then... There is nothing. Okay, what is with that voice? And who directed the hunter's movements? Someone who could hold Lilith in place. That's alarming. I'm sorry. There's nothing more. That's when the hunter died. Don't apologize. You showed us what we could not see. Another mystery resolved. No more reason to assemble the emo kids. You sound disappointed. I am, somewhat. This kept me distracted from the state of the Sanctum Sanctorum. Reminded me I could still be useful. Perhaps that is the lesson. Hmm. You see? Now you know. What we know is disturbing. Truth is often disturbing. We both learned that lesson years ago. What we just saw... It's difficult to comprehend. I know I have questions. But what about you? No one else was present when I faced Lilith. Whose voice did we hear? No one I recognize. If Lilith had just recovered the Darkhold, she may have used it to summon a dark spirit. If she did, it seems like she lost control. Perhaps. I pray it was just that. Could it have been Cthon? Speaking through the Darkhold? Perhaps. But why draw you towards the book? What was there to gain? I'm still unclear on how I actually died. The magic of the blood courses through you and your mother. When you both touched the dark hold. Mystical feedback? That's my theory. It's a dangerous book. Perhaps more so than we thought. I should get going. Very well. Good night, kiddo. I'm... Yes? I'm proud of you. For pushing through all this. Um... Thanks. Well, good night. Are you all right? How do you feel? Physically, I am fine. Good. How about what you saw? You were the expert on false realities. You tell me. I don't know the answers, but I am certain we have the facts. What we saw tonight did happen. You both died with your hands on the Darkhold. What does that tell us? I'm not sure yet. Perhaps it will give us an edge in our fight or insight into something we've missed. More unanswered questions. That's not it. We have all the answers to your death. What we're missing are the questions that match. Thank you for trusting me to do this. Of course. 
It means more than you know. I don't know what to think. Was someone else there, and did they kill Lilith? Those are difficult questions to answer. At least we know to ask them. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We're emo kids. We can do anything. That's all we had. You taking off? That is it for me. The last meeting of emo kids. Should we get another t-shirt? I kind of want another t-shirt. Or, ooh, maybe a pin. I'll figure it out. Thanks for letting us root around in your past, Hunter. is progress, and I couldn't pick a better team to save the world, and challenge my biases toward witches and demons. Gods are fickle. Autumn does not answer.
If it was here, Autumn would show me. There must not be anything here. He sees our path. Something terrible happened here. This area, it feels wrong somehow. I sense an old suffering. Members of the local coven were persecuted here. And worse. Witches. Salem's history with witches may have been distorted over the years, but some things are true. The witches of Salem did their best to thwart Shaw, but he rallied his congregation against them. The catalyst of the infamous Salem witch trials. When the coven called out in distress, it was Lilith and Sarah who came to their aid. Caretaker and my mother knew their powers could help others, and they did not hesitate. Of course not, dear. Your mother was a gifted healer, and Sarah was never one to back down from a fight. They also knew the signs of Cathan's influence, and Shaw's sudden rise to power undoubtedly got their attention. Cathan's corruption had taken root in the New World just like the colonists themselves. And while Lilith and Sarah were still preoccupied in Transia, they entrusted one of the Moon Seals to the Knights of Wondergore, who brought it to the Coven with the hope that its power would reinforce them enough to deal with Shaw. But that is not what happened. Unfortunately, no. When the plague came to Salem, the same one that afflicted your father, Shaw used it to further agitate his flock, by placing the blame squarely on the Coven. And the witches? The mob was vicious. And the rest is history. But what about the Moon Seal? After the trials, the Moon Seal vanished along with Shaw. Without drawing any conclusions, I think we can both guess where it went. 
If this was his church, then it is possible the seal is still here, or somewhere nearby. You read my mind. Good hunting, dear. thinks otherwise. Was this always here? I may have forgotten a few things, but I feel as if I would remember a decrepit church on the grounds. You may not remember the structure, but maybe you've heard of the man responsible for it? Hiram Shaw? This was his house of worship, and like a great many things on the grounds, Sarah preferred to keep it in a sort of mystic quarantine. Even I haven't been inside. Is that all she did while I slept? Seal things off for our protection? She can be overzealous at times, but in this case, she was right to be wary. So what dark secret does this place hold? When Hiram Shaw first came to Salem, he was little more than a charlatan posing as a preacher. He managed to convince a few desperate souls to join his congregation, and with their help, he broke ground on this church. Whether it was coincidence or fate, in digging beneath the church, Shaw found something that would change the course of all of our lives. A long-forgotten page of the Darkhold. If Shaw found a page of the Darkhold, it was because Kuthan wanted it that way. I tend to agree. That cursed book is always seeking out a way to return its master to power. And a power-hungry preacher makes for the ideal messenger of darkness. Yes, Shaw was an eager study, consumed almost immediately by the whisperings of Kuthan and the Darkhold's power. Nearly overnight, the people of Salem, old and new, were at his threshold, waiting for the word. Feeling well today, dear? Tell me about Hiram Shah. By all Hiram accounts, Shah. Hiram Shah... As I understand it, he was a largely unsuccessful minister before his arrival at Salem. Traveling from place to place. Swindling whatever followers he managed to gain before being run out of town. To think that a simple man like Shaw finding a piece of the Darkhold was enough to set all of this in motion. It puts things in perspective. What do you know about my father? That's not an easy question, dear. What would you like to know? Was he a good man? Yes, I think he was. Your mother loved him dearly, and he doted over her. I think for a time she forgot who she was, and where she came from. And I don't mean that as a bad thing. She and Sarah both deserve to find something more than just another fight with Cathan. Lilith did. Sarah didn't. At least, not for a while longer still. I honestly think that's the only thing she ever had against him, blood or not. Until we speak again.
Hmm? Goodbye. For now. Autumn must not see it that way. Autumn be praised. That is something. The son of Gaia. Goddess must be busy. Never a dull moment. We should investigate Hiram Shaw's church. 
There may be clues as to the whereabouts of the Moon Seal given to the Salem Coven. 